Okay, the viewers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. You don't know what it means to me to, to click on and see that so many people are looking at my videos. But what's so weird is that there's a number of you subscribed who look regularly, but there's a ton of folks. You know who you are. You're not subscribed. You're watching my videos. How hard is it? I think there's a little thing. Where is it? Down there. Down there. Click that thing. Click that thing. Subscribe. It helps me. It will be um, immensely useful to me. I don't speak well when I'm excited, but come on, just do it. Subscribe. Is it hard? Just do it. Just subscribe. All you have to do is subscribe. Think about subscribing, then do subscribe. Have you subscribed? Subscribe. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Here's the question. I'm really hopped up about this idiot who was number 45. So I'm will the DOJ will the DOJ step up and get this guy um, get this guy that's just it will they step up and get this guy so for some reason um, things that you or I would do that would get us in trouble are this fella has been able to do and is still able to do and doesn't get in trouble can you imagine can you just imagine if you or I got somehow some television time and said or did or collected a crowd of people together and said or did the things that he said? Can you imagine that? And why are we letting this uh, go on? Isn't this our government? Can't we write letters? Can't we raise our voices? Can't we speak to the people who are uh, who run this thing that is ours anyway? This uh, fragile democracy that it looks like we're going to lose. Maybe we didn't lose it this time, but it just takes someone smarter to come along next time and get this done in the right way. And somebody will. Somebody's going to come along and get this done unless we stop it now. We've got to ask for things to be changed. We've got to ask for rules to be tightened up. We've got to ask for people to be prosecuted who are bad. So another Low Scarabio winner here. This is the Mystical Tarot. And uh, like their cards, I mean, the boxes are okay, but they're not great. The instruction booklets are, you know, really basic. Uh, so nothing special to learn in there. But it's the cards that are the star here. They're easy to use. They've got kind of a matte finish. And uh, the illustrations are fantastic. I mean, these are artistic, really nice looking cards. And, you know, I love spreading them out like this so that you get to see them. And if somebody else is going to uh, be here to have a reading, it's good for them to kind of uh, work with the cards for a second, you know, kind of give them some ownership of what's happening. So I like all that. But uh, we'll get these stacked up here. And we don't want any reverse cards. Sorry. Okay. Let's get going on this now. So this will be <clears throat> the second reading in a row I've done uh, uh, sort of on this subject. And I want to know for the Department of Justice, our Department of Justice, are they going to prosecute this guy? Is the Department of Justice going to get this guy and nail him to the wall? Why, why, why do we continue to let this person uh, yell fire in the middle of the theater? And the theater is our country. And his uh, ridiculous claims and his uh, horrible um, uh, venues where he gets out and juices everybody up to just the very worst of their possible intentions. Why do we let this continue? Uh, so let's get six cards. Look how skewed they come out. Let's try it again. I'll try to calm myself down a little bit. I'm on a bit of a rant uh, because of this uh, person. And I shouldn't, I guess, let it. Well, I should. We should all let it uh, get us this upset so that we're moved to action. We're moved to call somebody, to write somebody, to show up somewhere and do something. I mean, that's what his insane followers have done. They have shown the fire to, um, 
to, to, to try to destroy this country. And I'm sure a lot of them think they're trying to make the country better, but what a disaster. The signifier card for will the Department of Justice dar start doing something about this insanity? The, the signifier card for that? <sighs> strength. Thank God. I hope this is telling me that there is strength and not that they have to have strength. But this signifier card is strength. So let's hope that our uh, Department of Justice is going to, and you know, strength in this uh, aspect is where the uh, feminine has tamed the beast to really control that strength for whatever that's worth. The um, challenge to that strength then, look at this, is the emperor. And this guy thinks he's the emperor and people believe he's the emperor. They worship at his throne. So the, the challenge to this strength is this emperor. The base of this reading then is the two of wands, short-term plans. So let me hope, let me pray that this means our Department of Justice is working on some short-term plans to move that ball ahead each time, just like, like an agonizingly long game of sport where each little uh, victory on the field moves that ball, that piece further towards the goal. <clears throat> The past of this reading, then, is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands speaks to us of having uh, lots of issues, lots of plans that we've come through. But I kind of love this Nine of Wands because she is very sassy. She's grabbed her plan. She looks like she's already beat all these other plans, or she's got them standing ready for her to grab the next one and put it forward. So either one of those definitions works for me. But in the sky of this reading, we've got the Seven of Wands. Um, Swords, which is a thief in the night. And I think that's what we're chasing. We're chasing this ridiculous thief in the night, night who leaves just enough behind to uh, obscure us, to uh, uh, blind us into believing there's something there when he's really stolen so much. The uh, likely outcome of the first part of this, then, is look at this. It's nightmares, the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> the Nine of Swords <clears throat> is a nightmare that we're living through right now. And maybe it's the nightmare that this prosecution will become. But if that's what it is, then that's what we have to go through to get this done. The <clears throat> self of our Department of Justice, are you going to nail this guy? The self of that is a seven of pentacles and wondering, have we done enough? Do we have enough? Studying what's back here while separating what's over here. It seems to me that I would rather take what I've got and run with it, but maybe the Department of Justice has more patience than I do. And uh, so that's the self. The self is, have I done enough? In the environment of what? It's in the environment of uh, five, six, seven of um, seven, 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 seven. What are you? Oh, you're the chariot. So the chariot is, okay. This is hopeful because this is in the environment of, I guess, wanting to move things along. That's what this, this have I done enough is in the environment of let's get this thing rolling. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. And then the hopes of the fears of this is the star or is this temperance? Uh, let's see this. Um, 10, 15, 16, 17. And let me look at my cheat sheet over here. Um, this is, uh, is this temperance rather than the star? I think this might be, this is temperance as a matter of fact, or is it the star? No, it's the star. So the star tells us, uh, for instance, that um, we have to have faith. Um, we have to reflect. Uh, we have to have insight. We have to have harmony and we have to be inspired. Okay, so the inspiration is what I'm looking for in this card. So let's get inspired, uh, DOJ, and move this on. But the likely outcome, according to these cards, for this is... Ah, moving out of troubled waters. So perhaps that's the case. I mean, I wanted a big splashy finish for this, but maybe moving out of troubled waters is where we need to be. And I wish I had somebody who's telling us that that's where we're going. Even if it alerts the criminal that we're after him, it just puts him on the run, run he'll stumble, he'll fall, we can grab him. So Department of Justice, come on. So look, I'm not going to go through the whole thing again. I'm just going to show you this card and tell you we have to move ourselves out of troubled water. Speak to the people who govern the area you live in. Write to your congressman. Do something. Speak in your uh, neighborhood. Tell people how you feel. If this makes you sick, tell people it does. Because trust me, the other side, those crazies, that's what they're doing. And they're being heard. And if you don't think the squeaky wheel gets the oil, then you haven't had a squeaky wheel uh, bothering you. So do something and do it now. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.